Hi friends, it's Linda, the Penny Press Puzzle Lady. And you haven't heard from me a while, from a while because I don't know how to record these videos. It's terrible. So if you all have some tips and tricks for me on how to get this reflection out of my glasses and just, you know, get the background right, I don't know. But maybe you don't care about that. But anyway, the reason I'm here is I'm excited to share with you some tips and strategies from the Penny Press Variety Puzzles magazine. Doing these puzzles is so good for your brain. You know, we make these commitments, especially at the beginning of the, of the year, to exercise our bodies, get in shape. Well, we need to keep our brains in shape to stave off diseases like dementia and Alzheimer. And we can do that by doing all kinds of puzzles. Now, I specialize in the word puzzles because I'm a literacy advocate and I'm all about word puzzles. So today I'm gonna show you a puzzle from this magazine called Heading. So, hope you enjoy. And if you like these videos, please remember to hit that subscribe button for the Penny Press Puzzle Lady. Before we get into the puzzle that I'm going to do, I want to show you the tools of the trade that I use. I use these wonderful pens called Friction. The reason I like them is that they're erasable. See, look at that. If I do that, I can erase that. And that really comes in handy when you're doing puzzles. Well, let's start with this first category. Magical beans of fantasy. Well, I can already see that this one would be a gnome. So I would make sure I cross out the G and the M. I think this one would be a banshee, B-A-N. So I'm looking for a B, cross off an A and an S. How about a Sprite? Cross off an S, an I, and a T. I see that. What about a Siren? And I don't know much. I'm not into fantasy. This is just, I guess I've lived long enough or I've heard of these things, but it's not really my genre. So I'm left with this one. Oh, Goblin, G-O-B-L-I-N. So I'm looking for another G, there is one. Looking for O and an L. How about a Centaur maybe? So I would look for a C, an N, and an A. So what I haven't crossed off in the word magical, I still have an A. Beans, I've used all of those. And of, I still have an F. And I have another F. And I have an A. And I have a Y that I haven't used. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So that is accurate. Mm. F. Ooh, an A. Oh, silly fairy. F A I R Y. So I cross off an F, an A, and a Y. F A Y. That still leaves a F and an A. How? Oh, a fawn. A fawn. How about that? F A. Well, maybe I did get that category correct. So let's go on to the second one. Play percussion instruments. Well, I'm sure this one is a cymbal, a snare drum, a glockenspiel, a timpani, castanets, a tambourine. How about that? Ooh, 
I'm not sure. Well, let's try symbol. C-Y-M-B-A-L. I think that's how you spell symbol. And that's the thing about these puzzles. It also challenges your spelling. So if I'm spelling this correctly, I'm crossing off a Y. I'm crossing off an A. And I'm crossing off an L. Snare drum, that would be S-N-A-R-E-D-R-U-M. So I would cross off an S, an R, and a U. Marimba. Maybe I've heard of a marimba. We'll try it. If so, I'm crossing off an R, there is one, and an I. Glockenspiel. I'm not sure if I'm spelling this correctly, but I think it's a G-L-O-C-E-N-S-P-I-E-L. -E if that's correct, I'm going to cross off a C and an E and a P. A timpani. T-I-M-P-A-N-I. -I. I think that jumps out at me. So I'm going to cross off a T and an N. A tambourine. T, ooh, I think it's O-U-I-N-E, I think. So T-A-M, I'm going to cross off an M, an O, and another U. And an I. So that's leave play. That's going to leave a P. And percussion, that's going to leave an S. And instruments, that's going to leave an N, an S, an E, an N, a T, an S. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letters. Let's see if that's accurate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, correct. Eight letters that I still need to use. One of them is a P, S, N, S, E, N, T, three S's. Let's see, castanets. I think those are those things you put in your hands if so, that would be an S, gone, an N, gone, a T, gone, and another S. All right. So let's try that. S, an N, a T, and another S. S, N, T, S. So that leaves one, two, three, four. Ooh, a P, an N, an S, and an E. A P, N, S, and E. Hmm. Well, this first letter would not be a P because you don't have a P, T, and then not with it being N. It can be an S. Hmm, it's not coming to me. S. -S, -S. Ooh. How about this? Maybe it's a steel pan. That would be an S, an E. Ooh, okay. Steel pan. Let's try that. I don't know. We'll check. A steel pan. Percussion. I think of Jamaica. Okay. Let's try this next category. Right tools for the job. Well, this already jumps out of me as a shovel. And I'm not a handy person, but I think it, one this might be a shovel. So I cross out an H and an O. Mm, I don't know. A lathe? I don't know. Let's try that. L, A, T. And another H. Ooh. Tool. Some kind of saw. Hammer. 
something with an F in it. Traro, T-R-O-W-E-L, I don't know. T-R-O-E, mm, the ruler, right tools for the job. Something with an F and a G. Mm. Uh, ooh, saw. I don't know much about tools, drums, hammers, nails, drill. What do you call that thing? With a little a plumb line thingy do. <laughs> terrible, terrible. See, I don't know. Um, F. That's the thing. How much time do you give yourself? Oh, a B. Something has a B in it. I boat? B. Oh, a J too. I'll just guess a boat. So that would be O T. Is that a tool? I don't know. J I G and another S. So in the word right, that's going to leave an I. It's going to leave an F, an O, and an R. One, two, three, four. Oh, a flat iron? A flat F iron? O-R-N? Flat iron? That would finish it off. I don't know. Well, let's check our answers. So again, we can always check our answers on page. They give uh, the page number for the answer. So let's flip over to 122. Name of this puzzle was headings. Headings. Okay, goblin, centaur, gnome, fairy, sprite, fawn, banshee, siren. Yeah, you got that right. Steel pan, cymbal, snare, drum, marimba. Did I say marimba? Yes. Glockenspiel, timpani, castanets, tambourine. Yes. And for the tools, shovel, trowel, jigsaw, flat iron, lathe, and bolt. Woohoo! Yay! Got all of that right. So what this puzzle is about is just testing your general knowledge. Sometimes you know things, sometimes you don't. So thank you for watching this and remember to subscribe to the Penny Press Puzzle Lady channel so you can see more tips and strategies for solving puzzles. Thank you. See you next time.